program already in progress. That's on the market. $700? Lucky for me, I've got some serious buying power. I spent about a million a year just on sheets. I've got 2,000 bubble gum tables, and I want to put a bottle on every single table. Each week, I'll travel to a new city to meet two potential suppliers. I'll point out problems. He did 400000 in sales last year and didn't make any money. Push for improvements. These are babies. This is merchandise. And if I think they can deliver, I'll place an order that could change their lives forever. We're talking about really growing your business here. This is, can we shake on this deal right now? Billion dollar buyer. Play for takeoff. I have over 10,000 beds in my hotels across the country, and every single one of them needs a set of sheets. When you factor in reorders, I buy 60,000 of them a year. Now, I use cotton like everyone else in the industry, but some guests have started asking about linen. So I'm heading to New York to meet the owner of a company called Lenoto. If he can convince me to buy, forget linen, this guy will be sleeping in a pile of money. Thanks for calling Linoto. This is Jason. How can I help you? The Linoto customer is anyone who loves sleeping. This is a king-size duvet cover. Linen is a wonderful fabric. It feels incredibly comfortable and smooth and cool against your skin. It's also very durable and enjoyable year-round. People who are in the know know about linen sheets. My background is in apparel design. I enjoy using my hands. I enjoy making things. The first set of sheets I ever made were a gift. Somebody suggested, well, why don't you sell them? And I thought, I have nothing to, else to lose. When I started, I had quite a busy job working at a big 7th Avenue company. And I was running to the bathroom to take calls from customers, sewing nights and weekends all myself. Is this order just a bed skirt? Yes, it's really beautiful. A handful of stores have our sheets, but it's mostly sold online at linoto.com. When we started back in 2007, we made $40,000. The second year, I think there was about around 100000 We sold almost a million dollars worth of sheets last year, and they were with these hands. I'm very proud of what I've done. Yep, I think that's it. If we received an order from Tillman, it would be a transformative moment. We have to buy some new equipment. You know, I'm doing things like I was two or three years ago, but the orders have doubled. I think it would put us in a position where we could go to the next level. My parents have both passed away. I don't have anybody else who is going to leave me something. It's on me. Where's Jason? Hey, Tillman. Y'all are going to take me for hostage in here, are you? I didn't know where I was. <laughs> so I finally made it to Yonkers, New York. Yes. Did some of your people? Uh, yep, this is Jesus. Hey, Jesus. How are Tillman, you? This is I'm Tillman. Tillman. It's nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. These ladies are incredible sewers. So why are we having requests all of a sudden from a few customers for linen sheets? Well, for people who like little luxuries, linen sheets have always been one of those things that people like to have, but it's a very expensive item that's generally been difficult to find. If, I bet you if you went to the Queen of England's bed, she's sleeping on linen sheets. Yeah, truly. So what exactly is linen? Essentially, linen is woven flax. Try this. Wrap it around your neck. Take off your scarf. And I think you'll start to feel how it's cooler to the touch, the hand of it. Yeah. See the way it rustles? Let me see this son of a gun. <laughs> I'm feeling good. It feels natural against your skin, right? I like this. All right, talk to me about this, though. Your business is mainly directly to a consumer. Tell me your sales again last year. In 2015, we sold $963,000 worth of linen sheets. What was it in 14? Uh, it was 857000 So you're still growing. What does a set of linen sheets cost retail to your retail customer? $289 for a queen set uh -huh. and $339 for a king set. Oh, so mighty. Which might sound like it's a lot. It is a lot. So shop. people find us, and it's a tremendous value. You know, because we don't sell it to the store, they don't mark it up. Yes. So for two hundred eighty-nine dollars, you get two queen sheets and two queen pillowcases. Absolutely. Okay. And what do you think that cost you? Cost me about one hundred and sixty-five, hundred and seventy bucks. Okay. It's so much more expensive than cotton and most of your other fabrics. Yeah, I think that that it has to do with the fact that most of the mills that make it are in Europe, and it takes a little bit more time and effort. You got to set me straight. So you, so how are you? I'm not going to pay retail to put these sheets in any group of my hotel rooms. You'd have to sell them to me at a wholesale price. Why wouldn't you try to get in with a Neiman Marcus or a Bloomingdale's? It would be a, a tremendous leap of faith 
to change the business model. I would be competing with the website because people are going to look at the prices and buy it wherever it's cheaper. You have to have everything at the same price. That is not true. You're a very talented man. Thank okay. You. Thank you. But when it comes to marketing, I'm going to give you an F, okay? Ah, all right. <laughs> because I mean, when somebody buys from your website, they're not able to touch it and feel it. People want to walk in the store, and you pay more to grab something right then. Jason's so worried about how a department store will affect his website and vice versa that he's missing the big picture. Getting in more stores will bring him more volume and more brand recognition. He wants the public to know about Lenoto and recognize the quality because then more people like me will want to carry the product. What, what scares me is this. I'm only spending around $60 right now for a set of sheets. If, I, if you even sold them to me at $200, okay, mm -hmm. we've got to find a way to make this work in a commercial environment. I'm guessing you could offer linen sheets as an upsell. And I That's think kind that, of interesting. That, that is. Just like we offer a VIP check-in where you don't have to stand in line. And you'd be shocked the amount of people that pay it. So I can maybe get a $15 or $12.50 upcharge for linen sheets. It piques their interest. Finally, Jason's starting to make sense. If I'm going to put money into these pricey sheets of his, I might as well get a solid return on my investment. Let's say I buy a Lenoto set of sheets for a wholesale price of $180, just over half of Jason's retail price. Then I charge my guests $15 for a night in them. The average stay at my hotel is about two nights, which means I only need six guests to upgrade the linen sheets to break even. Everything after that is just pure profit. I just need to know there are more than six people who will pay for the privilege. Let me tell you what I want to do. I want you to come down to Atlantic City. We're going to set up two beds. We're going to set up one with your sheets and one with the sheets we use. And we're going to let people compare the two different sets of sheets. That's a great idea. That is a great idea. I think it'll be interesting. Absolutely. Great to meet you. People might not know me as a beauty mogul, but I do have a substantial spa business. The ones at my casinos and hotels serve over 80,000 clients a year and sell around a million dollars worth of beauty products. And I'm always looking to sell more products. So I'm on my way to the Bronx in New York to meet this lady named Vina to see what she's got. Hey, Vina, we're going to do a five kilo batch. Right, body oil. Make sure it's proof. Lendina Solutions is a USDA certified personal care brand, one of the only ones in the world. USDA certification means that they can trace it all the way back from the farm to the supplier to the manufacturer to know that it is indeed organic. I'm a trained nose or perfumer. I use the best oils possible. Lendina Solutions is an umbrella brand based on my own need and desire for safe, non-toxic personal care products. It's your day moisturizer, it's your night cream, it's your anti-acne, your anti-aging. It addresses all of those things. So these are the new GHS compliant labels for all the liquids. My name is Daryl Doe. I am her manufacturing chemist. We've been able to help Nandina by actually manufacturing her product and deferring any expenses that she would have. We're investing our time and money. That's the business part. The secondary part is to help a single mom. I got married when I was 23, and we were divorced in 2012. I lost my house. I lost my car. You know, I moved home to my parents' house so I wouldn't be homeless. So it's like having my hands tied behind my back trying to start a business. Personally, I owe 200000 And then to Daryl, up, you could probably at least add another 50000 I'm all in. An order from Tillman would be life-changing. Where am I? Am I headed in the right direction? All right. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming. I'm on Venus Singh. I'm in the Bronx right here. You are I mean, in the Bronx? I, I am in the Bronx. So this is one of the only manufacturing facilities left in New York City. This isn't the sexier, glamorous part of the beauty biz. This is where all the hard work gets done. <laughs> so this is the lab where I work. How did you learn how to do this? I trained at the largest fragrance supplier in the world, International Flavors and Fragrances. But you're not a chemist. I am. That's my training. So I'm a nose, a perfumer, a cosmetic yeah. chemist, but I'm also a business person. But what are you good at? All of it. You really are? Yeah. Well, how do I smell? <laughs> you smell good. <laughs> you could smell better with my stuff. 
So how long have y'all been together doing this? I reached out to him about three years ago. So how are y'all partners if you're just a manufacturer or that you're, are you the distributor too? Um, you ship it out? Actually, we do. She needed a manufacturer who is USDA certified. Because I knew I wanted to do USDA certified organic, that is very, very specific, and I can't overstate that. The assumption is, is that anything that comes on the market, it's safe to use, right? That's not the case. It's very specialized training. Today, that's, everybody wants natural and organic of everything. And Vina's made a really smart move with this USDA certification. Every day, my spas are overrun by folks looking for the latest, greatest organic treatment. And her brand can offer something that no one else can. It's a big selling point for both of us. All right, let's look at this product. This is the face oil. It's your all-in-one. It does 10 things. It's your day moisturizer. It's your night moisturizer. It's for acne. It's anti-aging. And for your neck and your decolletage, if you're worried about it. I'm worried about everything. <laughs> so, Daryl, is Manvina's product really any better? No BS here. I, I need to know this. Shoot me straight. Shoot me straight. Coming up, if my people don't want your product, I can't help you. This has been one of the great challenges. I asked you to get into some retail stores, and you didn't get into any. Daryl, is Man Vina's product really any better? No BS here. I, I need to know this. Shoot me straight. Shoot me straight. Yeah, and actually, I think it is. If you look at the first ingredients in any product, it's water. Her first ingredient is argan oil. So she really writes the formula. Well, she, this, yeah. is the, this is the talent and you're producing it. Correct. I'm at Manvina Solutions to check out her new spa products. And it's reassuring that her manufacturer, Daryl, thinks she has some of the best products he's ever worked with. So this is where we do our manufacturing and some of our packaging over here. Here we've got two 2,000 gallon tanks. Depending on the size of the bottle, we can do 200 to 400,000 units. Let's talk about this right here. It looks more medical. It looks like it isn't being packaged to sell in a feminine way. I haven't done it. This is just me doing it by myself. So you'll change the packaging? Yeah. All right. How much was this one right here? Retail? Um, what is this retail? For one ounce, it's $50 US. And this is for the face? The face. The cost to make a one ounce bottle right now is about $8.55. You're right now making $42 a bottle. Mm -hmm. So what would I pay for this? The high end, you'd pay um, $25. So I'd pay $25 and sell it for $50. Correct. These little bottles pack quite a punch. I could sell them to just a fraction of my customers and still make very good money. Take this face oil. I buy a unit for $25 and sell it for $50, giving me a gross profit of $25. I have 80,000 guests coming through my spas every year. If just 5% of them take home a bottle, I take home $100,000 in gross profit, all from just one product line. It really is a thing of beauty. Well, I would think you're doing pretty good then. Sure, if I had dollars to spend on marketing and I could sell a whole bunch of it, yeah, I would be. So you need one good order, and you're on your way. Yeah. Manvina's prices are right, and organic products are a huge opportunity today. But I always like to test things out for myself. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to come down to the Golden Nugget. Okay. You've got all the support of my team to help you sell this product. I will have them there to help you market this. It'd be my pleasure. Thank you. Come up to the Bronx. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I've sent Jason and his employee, Jocelyn, to my Golden Nugget in Atlantic City to meet my head of purchasing, Bob Meyer. He's going to help them introduce their linen sheets to my customers. Welcome to the Golden Nugget. I see you brought some of your linen sheets. What we'd like for you to do is go ahead and we have two beds set up here. One for your linen sheets, one with our Golden Nugget cotton sheets. And then once you have those made up, solicit our guests to see which ones they prefer. We've set up a little voting system here. Green chips for Lenoto. We have pink chips for the Golden Nugget. So, good luck and welcome to the Golden Nugget. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Hotel style. I think that looks beautiful. All right. So now we have to go and find people. Would you like to come lay down on the beds and try out the linen sheets? We want you to tell us what you think. They're both nice, but I like this one. You do? Oh, you can vote right here. 
Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Have a great day. We know tell one, the golden nugget zero. Game on. Run your hands across it. See what you think. That is adorable. <laughs> Fundamentally, it's more comfortable against your skin. Uh, it's definitely a better option. If you want to climb into the bed, you're welcome to. Mm, mm, mm. I like this a little bit because it's softer. I like linen. I definitely like this. Linen breathes. I like this better. Why? Just this different feeling of it? More traditional. More traditional, yeah. Uh, you know what the kind, uh, yeah. We'll uh, do it that this way. definitely feels like my linen pants, and that feels like a sheet. If the hotel offered just like $5 upgrade to linen sheets, would it be something you would consider? Yes. No, these are nice. If it was a doable price, I would definitely use that as an upgrade. We feel the same way. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Hey guys. Hi there. Good hey, to see you. Hey. Good How are you doing? So what are my customers saying? Tell me. A lot of people have responded to how uh, the fabric feels breathable and fresh and a little cool against their skin. One of our great fears is that how, how will these really stand up? Remember, there's a lot of stains in beds. People will be sitting on bed, and especially at a casino, and they're drinking red wine, and that ain't even counting all the other things people do in bed. So just assure me that it cleans as well as the cotton sheet. I have to get stains out of linen all the time. Well, let's, let's test it. Can okay. we do that? I've been looking forward to this next bit all day. Bob and Barbara, my head of housekeeping, have been waiting for my signal. We're going to give Jason Sheets what I call the Atlantic City Weekend Test. Okay, this is yours, right? <laughs> Oops. Oh, my gosh. I just spilled some wine. <laughs> oh, let me drink some coffee. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. Oops. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I am so sorry. Now, are we going to do the same thing to the, uh, the other sheets? Let me tell you something, Jason. One thing I am is fair. Oh, my God. French roast. You know what probably shocked y'all? This really happens. Oh, sure. Let's get those clean, and I'll meet y'all up in a suite in about an hour and with my team, and we'll see how it did. All okay. right. We'll see you then. Thank you. Great. Delicious. Good to see him. Hi, Bob. Hi, how are you? I want to see how they did in this challenge. Okay. I'm in shock right now. Coming up, did people like interacting with her? The guests did. My staff, not so much. Are you confused, Jason, while we're here? Don't just be trying to make a buck off of me. I want to see how they did in this challenge. Okay. Jason spent all day pitching linen sheets against my cotton ones here at the Golden Nugget, hoping my customers would vote for his product with green chips. It's the moment of truth. I'm in shock right now. 53 to 26, Lenoto. I'd say pretty damn good there, guys. Jason got a big win here, but he's also got some work to do. People prefer his product, but only if they've experienced it. And I'm sure not going to set up sample beds in every one of my lobbies. I'd feel better about the sheets if they were in stores and people knew about them, because then I wouldn't have to do as much marketing on my end. Hello, sir. Hey, how are you? How are you? Great, Senator, thank were you. Were you able to wash those for me? I was able to wash these. Well, sit down and talk to me about it. Right. Okay, what is this? I'm lost right now. Well, this is your linen pillowcase. Whoa, 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 wait. You didn't wash this. This was washed. Okay, did y'all just wash it in water? Uh, no, I washed it in detergent. But yes. equally the same? E they were put in together. Okay, you didn't do one load, no, one one cold. Load. These two were washed together. Cold water, a little bit of bleach. I, I'm, 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 I, I am never lost for words, and I am lost for words right now. It's disappointing. Where did this thing go astray? You spilled wine and... Uh... But that's what my customers do, Jason. I'm living in the real world, okay? Um, I think that you'll have better luck with linen, with oxygen-based bleach, than with chlorine-based bleach. I do it all the time, and it always comes out. The cost difference between what we spend to launder this and what we would need to spend to launder that is roughly four times the cost. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm, I'm sad. I completely understand all your concerns. I think this is great for appearance, but at the end of the day, you want a good night's rest. You want to sleep. It feels like every five minutes I find a new reason to walk away from Lenoto. The high prices, the lack of brand recognition, and now this cleaning fiasco. But I'm still sitting here, because what I saw today was something special. Now, first off, I'm going to tell you this. I'm not done with this. There's a place for this in my company. 
why don't you see if you can get into a retail store? That's how you're going to grow your business. Okay? Thank y'all. All right. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. We have to go up. Okay, what's up? Smelling a bunch of pretty oils in a lab is one thing. Now I want to see how they perform in one of my spas. So I've asked Mandina and Daryl to introduce their products to my staff and guests for the spa at the Golden Nugget. Good morning, guys. Hi. Mandina, I'd like to introduce you to the team. This is Alicia. She's our director of advertising. And this is Christine. She's our spa director. You guys have this challenge set in front of you and the very capable team of the Golden Nugget here to help you with everything. So I'm going to step out. Good luck. And we'll see you soon. We're so excited to be here. We're happy to have you. So let's get going. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, just set them up so I can visually see how much we have. What's over here? This is... Is yeah, we have to separate them. Can we multitask? You want me to clear this table? No. The face is here. We have a lot of work ahead of us. This is the only thing you can use. Do like a chair here and a chair here. If we want to get that going, y'all need to smile. Be really excited about the event. It's a very big deal. So get the energy up. I know how to get stuff done. And a leader. Does anybody know how to open a champagne bottle? Cheers! Cheers! Are you here for the event? Do you want some champagne? Never mind your coffee. I have hair problems. You have hair problems? Okay, we, we've got a solution. Who wants champagne? Does anybody want champagne? You make me more relaxed. Yeah. Yes, I feel relaxed. And I really like it. Thank you for coming. It was lovely meeting you. Enjoy your time here. Y'all look great. I want to see your hair. Did you put the oil in? No, 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 no. It's after. So, Leanna, you finish with it. You don't start with it. The oil, you finish with it. Sure. It also, you may want to do just quicker. Hey, Christine. Yes? We have all these people backed up. We need y'all to do a face massage. We can't have people waiting. Well, they're massage therapists. They don't take any so it's a little bit different. So You have to work back there. I mean, it's crazy. Anybody want to jump in? Thanks, Deanna. I appreciate it. Well, I got to get out of here. Well, we've heard some good stuff. Just spark plug. <laughs> she might be a spark plug, yes. I think it might be more than some people want. Let's go ahead and check it out. Hi. How are you, Donna? Good. Um, Y'all talk to any customers? Yeah, the customers that we're supposed to like. There is something unique and special about the product. Well, how about Minvina? Does she know her business? Yes. She does? Yes. She's... Did people like interacting with her, dealing with her? The guests did. M my staff... Not so much. Okay. Um, just a little bit. Um, we were here to help, I guess, and it didn't. It, we felt more like her her workers, so she kind of um, she spoke out of turn a couple of times. But so it's almost like she didn't know how to manage people. No. Do I have unanimous? Because this is a problem for me. Okay. Where, where, where's Man Vina? Oh, here. Let's do it real quick. I'm not going to have somebody come in here that I'm trying to help and sell their product and not talk to my people the way they should be talked to. Okay. Hi. Coming up, what did you do to piss off my employees? I don't even think it's worth discussing. It's almost like she didn't know how to manage people. No. This is a problem for me, okay? Where, where, where's Man Vina? I brought Manvina into one of my spas for a test run, but now I'm finding out she's infuriated my staff. And that's not just an attitude issue, that's a business issue. The staff is going to act as her sales force. She has to have them on her side. Hey, Manvina. Hey. Sit down. Sit down. How's it going? I think it went great. I'm thrilled. Good. I like your product. I think our customers like your they product. They loved it. Okay. But what did you do to piss off my employees? If my people aren't happy, okay, they won't sell your product here. You have to win my people over. I don't even think it's worth discussing. Like, that kind of stuff, like, I think it's a waste of time. I, I don't understand. You, you've lost me. But what's not waste of time? Oh, uh, you're bossy or you're this or whatever. Why are you so hard to work with? I, I, I think it's silly and sophomoric. And I, I don't understand what you're saying. I won't go there. Wait, wait, wait. I, here. No, you wait, okay? If my people don't want your product, I can't help you. Okay. Okay. Just know that. I, I do. Okay. 
I think the way to remedy the situation, if I have to win your people over, is I have to know what the issues are directly from them. All right, let's go meet the team. Let's do it. We just kind of want to recap the pros and the cons, and what, what did y'all think? Well, you know, overall, I think you really know how to, to sell a good product. Um, but when it comes to your interactions up here in the spa, I think that's where I had a little bit of a struggle. I don't know. It's lost on me. I mean, you should know the way that you come off to people, though. Yeah, I'm clear. I mean, I can't. And that's how you came off to our staff. To one person? No. To multiple staff members. Okay, well, this is a joke. With <laughs> joke to who? The hairstylist. You were very snappy with her, and she felt very uncomfortable. So much so, she actually wanted to leave. I am nice. You know what? Manvina's not going to be here selling it and directing it for us, okay? So let's all be happy and move on from this. I, 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 we're going to all start over. Manvina, she recognized that she might have made some mistakes. We might have made some mistakes. Let's talk about the product and move on. Absolutely. Okay, so thank you all very much. And hey, let's just talk for a few minutes, okay? I'm a little disturbed by what I've heard, but I also know you can't rush to judgment after just one incident. I want to do a test run here. I want to buy some product. I want to give you counter space and see how it goes. Okay, I think there's nothing better than a test. Would you ever look at repackaging it Absolutely. differently? Absolutely. Stop packaging. I'm not married to it. I'm not even married to the brand name. One of the things that I would like you to do, though, is meet with Christine and her team. I want you to make peace with them because you know what? I want them to sell your product. Yes. But they're not going to push your product if they don't believe in you. Okay? And I think they believe in your product, but I want them to believe in you. Of course. Let's get it done. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for the opportunity. Absolutely. Jason from Lenoto has asked me to meet him at a fabric store in New York, and I'm totally in the dark as to why. All I want to know is whether he's gotten his sheets into some damn stores. Hey, Tony, good to see you. What's going on? Well, we're here at uh, Rosen and Chaddock, and uh, I've been thinking about fabrics and materials and that kind of thing. Why did we meet here to talk about your sheets? I wanted to show you some potential options for lowering the price, and so I brought some cotton for you to see. Linen has generally been what we sell, but why not? It's made in the USA, and it's quality craftsmanship. Are you confused, Jason, while we're here? I came to you, Jason, because of the quality and what I heard about your linen sheets. Don't just be trying to make a buck off of me. Does your small business deserve an opportunity of a lifetime? Apply now for Billion Dollar Buyer. Visit BillionDollarBuyerCasting.com. So what are we doing here today? I mean, why did we meet here to talk about your sheets? I wanted to show you some options for some cotton sheets. I sought out Jason because he makes some of the best linen sheets on the market. And now he's trying to sell me cotton? Jason. Are you confused while we're here? I don't want cotton. I've got cotton. And at prices Jason can't even come close to. Why are you doing it? Is it just to have an, another because what, item? Because that's what most people sleep on. And I think for a lot of people, linen ends up being an aspirational product. I want to be known as the quality fabric company. Also. Okay. I think it's a great idea for you to try to build your business selling the high thread cotton sheets. That's not what I'm interested in. I'm interested in your linen sheets. Okay. I understand. You know, I've thought about what you've uh, asked me to do. I reached out to a lot of stores and I haven't heard back from any of them. If you couldn't get into retail stores, Jason, it really concerns me. I think that if you were able to go to a few specialty stores and say, I'm going to sell you this set of sheets mm -hmm. wholesale for $200. Uh -huh. You can mark this up for $399. And every sale is $200 in profit. Mm -hmm. That is a lot of profit, Jason. Okay? I just think you have the opportunity to take it to the next level. You did a million dollars last year, and you don't even have a wholesale account, okay? So you, you're making some good marketing decisions and some good business decisions. I wanted to offer Jason Sheets as an upgrade for my customers. But first, I need to know, he's getting his brand out into the world and his product into stores. Because no one's going to pay me $15 for a linen upgrade if they've never heard of Lenoto or never tried linen sheets. I will keep on trying to establish these relationships, but I'm also going to keep growing my business the way that it's worked for me up until now. If that's a decision you make, it would probably be the right decision. So, Jason, I want to see you next week with a bid for me on linen sheets. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Take care.
last time we saw Tillman, we had shared with him that we were working and tweaking packaging and um, labels. It just kind of seems like it's just sitting there, and it just bugs me. And we did a training at the Golden Nugget in Atlantic City with the spa and salon staff that went really, really well. I'm going to kind of just you know, have a general sense. They have the products currently on the shelf, and so I think you'll want to just get follow-up and feedback on how that's going. I've brought Alicia to help me check Manvina's progress. She's the point person Manvina has been building a relationship with. Welcome back. How are you? And her insight is invaluable to me. So what have you been up to? The packaging has really been taking up the lion's share of my time. So it did three different versions. This is the actual bottle. What does open stand for? It's the only product you need. I love promoting the open and not your name, Manvina. It's a harder name to pronounce, just like my name is. Absolutely. That's damn good. This is a really good business decision. Thank here. you. The people like the product, though. We have the customer or client results, and they were good. It was 80% foot, but there wasn't an activation after. Only one product was sold, so that what? concerns me a little bit. Only one. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. We sold one? One, huh. so far. Did y'all hide it in the back? No, I, I, I'll tell you why. Why? <laughs> well, you gotta tell me, because I'm, tell I'm struggling now. <laughs> well, because I'm selling it hand over fist. I have folks from the Golden Nugget coming to my site, buying the product, and giving me amazing reviews. So you're telling me they're walking out of the Golden Nugget, and they're going home, and they're buying it on the website? Yeah, that's what happened. You got crossed with my team, because that's the only reason you would have only sold one product. It will be difficult to move the product if the staff isn't on board with it. We're just struggling, and it shouldn't be this hard to make a deal. If your reasoning is, is because five or six folks in your spa didn't connect, that is confusing to me and odd to me as a business decision. No, the business decision is based, number one, that one unit sold in one month. Number two is there is obviously conflict between you and and my spa staff. They should have sold more than one but, So we are having a disconnect, would you agree? I absolutely agree, okay. and I think that would might be an internal discussion. I mean, it's your staff, they're your people. I didn't piss them off somehow, you did. It doesn't have anything to do with me. Alicia, so let me ask you this. Our therapists who use the product, do they want this product in that spa? Yes or no? At this time, I would say no. No, it's too bad for y'all. It's unfortunate. Sometimes the two companies just aren't a good fit. If I can't get my people on board, there's just no reason for me to buy a big order of your product and have it sit on my shelves. Okay. All right. So good luck to you. Thank you. Same to you. Carol, thank you. Good good to you. you. This is a missed opportunity, I think, for him. It's a lose-lose. It's not a win-win. Numbers don't lie, and in this case, they've told me all I need to know about how Manvina treats her partners. She's got a great product, but there's no way I can carry it on my shelves. Over the past month, I've tried to teach Jason how to work with big business, and today he's coming to my headquarters to make a bid. If I accept, his business will become pretty big itself. Jason, how you doing? How's Houston treating you? It's great. You're looking dapper today. It's fine, thank you. Clean up all right. So what have you realized during this whole process? Has it been good? It's been great. It's forced me to look into my business a little deeper, think about different channels for selling, and the product offering we have. Well, show me what you have. What I learned about your business is that you've got 527 VIP rooms. And so what we were proposing is three sets of the sheets, a flat sheet, a fitted sheet, two cases for each of the rooms. What we'd be looking at is a sell of $385,000. Jason's asking for $385,000 for about 1,600 sets of sheets. Three for each of my VIP hotel rooms. That comes out to $243 per set. If I accept, this one order alone would bring Jason 40% of the revenue that he did all last year. You know your business, so I've got to say, for wholesale price, I really thought you could go lower. What I keep going back to is, can you put a price on comfort? 
I think this is an opportunity to add some cachet. I'm with you. If you're going to have high-end customers, it's what they want, and they're willing to pay a premium for it. So just talk two sheets for a second. What is the wholesale price for just a sheet and a top king, though? Well, um, without my spreadsheet here on my computer, it's a little bit hard for me to tell you that exactly. Is that a sheet, Jason? Craving more Billion Dollar Buyer? Visit BillionDollarBuyer.CNBCPrime.com What is the wholesale price for just a sheet and a top king, though? Well, um, without my spreadsheet here on my computer, it's a little bit hard for me to tell you that exactly. Is that a sheet, Jason? Well, essentially, it would be about... Uh, but you should know. A, fit, a set of three is this much. A set of two is this much. Well, I have to remind you, I'm not in the business of selling to wholesale. I'm in the business of selling to customers. Well, Jason, this whole month was about teaching you the wholesale business. Did you get in any retail stores? Uh, we have not heard back from any of the retail stores. This has been one of the great challenges. They don't respond back. I asked you to get into some retail stores, and you didn't get into any. My customers need to feel like they're getting something special. How are they going to know your sheets are special if you're not out there in any brick and mortar stores? I'm going to tell you something. The fours are getting you. You know what the fours are? Tell me. Your sheets cost four times as much as the sheets I'm buying. Mm -hmm. That's one bad four. We've gone to three different people, and they tell us to launder these sheets are going to be four times as much. Okay. So I'm struggling. How many times do you think a sheet can be washed? I think a sheet can be easily washed 100 times. 100 times? Yes. We get 500 washes out of a sheet. So the fours got you again. Four times the cost, four times as amount to launder, and I get 400 fewer washes out of them. I just can't see a hospitality application right now for these sheets. But this is what I would like to do. Don't get all excited now. Okay, it's not much, but this is what I would like to do. Because I like you and I want your sheets out there. I want you in retail stores so people see your product. I'll take a hundred sets of your sheets. Okay? And I'll put them in my retail stores. I want you to grow your business. But Thank you keep you. working on it, though. Thank you. I'm excited. Uh, you know, he said that he's going to purchase 100 sets from us and use some in his retail stores, which is amazing. It'll help to get our name out, and it sort of gives the stamp of approval. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. All right. Good Take luck care. to you. All right. I'm going to throw Jason a bone and buy 100 sets of sheets from him. At $243 per set, that's almost $25,000. But what's best is, I'm going to put them in my hotels and casinos across the country. It'll help Jason get into other retailers, as now he's being carried by a national chain. Next, millionaire hospitality mogul Tillman Fertitta gives small businesses a shot at the big time. If you're not willing to change the recipe, I'm done. Billion Dollar Buyer, coming up next, only on CNBC.